All right, yeah. This was a request from Lydia, seeing as we did the Bowie, um, yeah, the Bowie track. Um, and this is another gem of the channel that I'd forgot about, Flight of the Concords. Because these, I mean, obviously they're a comical group, but like, they're actually good at music too. Like, they actually do good songs, like, apart from the fact that obviously they're dead, do you know what I mean? They're comedy songs, but still, they've got some songwriting chops. So yeah, Flight of the Concords. It says Bowie song, but um, it's Bowie's in space. So yeah, let's go. You folk parody duo. Uh, the song we're going to do tonight. There's quite an interesting story behind it, isn't there, Brett? Yeah, we went. Um, oh, sorry, we went uh, time tripping and went uh, back to the 1970s. That, uh, that's um. That's when you take a tiny little acid tab that, um, you know, makes you travel back in time. Uh, if you ever see us in the street, we sell those. Yeah. <laughs> if you get a good one, you go back, you know, right back to the early 60s. If you get a bad one, you end up in the mid 80s. But we, you know, we, were, we got to 73 and got to this party, and David Bowie was there. And, um, that was pretty. That was yeah. That was pretty cool, eh? Yeah. It was well, awesome. Also, awesome. the other great thing about that party is they had fondue, and I'd never, I'd, I'd never seen it before. Yeah, yeah. I had heard about it. Yeah. So I was hanging. Brett was mostly hanging with David Bowie, and I was mostly hanging around the fondue. fondue yeah. so I was like showing him some of my nasty licks, my manky chops. You know? He was pretty impressed. And uh, what were you? You were fondue. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we came back to the present day, and um, I was listening to some of Bowie's early albums, and. Um, well, he'd recorded some of my looks and claimed that they were his own. Yeah. So I should, I should be fair, though, to David Bowie and uh, point out that you were playing David Bowie his own songs. <laughs> this time. Be before, before he had recorded them. Yeah, it's very chicken egg. It's a it's chicken, chicken egg. egg. It's a chicken egg uh, one. To be fair, I had a uh, easy-to-play Bowie book with me. <laughs> I left that with him. I gave it to him. I've got that book. a lot easier. <laughs> From David Bowie's nipple and tie. <laughs> Do you read me, Lieutenant Bowie? <laughs> Signals weak on my radar screen. How far out are you, man? I'm pretty far out. That's pretty far out, man. Ew, <laughs> are ooh, I'm orbiting the town. Ooh, are ooh, I'm drawn in by its gravitational, gravitational pull. I'm jamming out with the McJaggernauts. Who they think is pretty cool, man? Okay, baby, what was that sound? I don't know, man, I have to tell you. 
turn my ship around. Oh, it's so crazy, I say. Yeah, I'm picking it up on my LSD screen. <laughs> oh, the stratosphere to the choir of Afro North singing. Such a phase as on Funka, They do a good Bobby. Do you know what as well? They put a little bit of every Bobby in there. They put a little bit of pre like hunky dory type of Bobby in there after the space. Very much the space. Looking out for a moon age day dream. Oh yeah. Like they did have it all there. I'm an alligator. Yeah. And like I say, a little of the after Bowie. Yeah. But they actually proper had his voice, right? Yeah. And LSD screen. That took me a second. But that's great. Yeah. Great. I have to say, this one was less the kind of musical songwriting and more a Bowie impression or a Bowie caricature, I suppose, would be the best thing. But Bowie does sound like that, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet. 